Hi, I'm Jasmine from Jasmine Penman Jewelry, and welcome to the Reconstruction Zone. If getting your kids to have bad time fun is a little bit harder to do because you have a cat running around everywhere. <laughs> So if getting your kids excited about bath time seems like the most impossible thing in the world to do, do not worry because you're not alone, I promise. A friend of mine shared a really great tip on how to make bath time a lot more exciting for your kids. So join us today in the Reconstruction Zone and we'll show you how to make fluffy bath time paint. Alright, so the first thing we're going to need is to get the bowl and our grater and grate down some of our bars of soap. So I've already done this and what you're going to end up with is great smelling grated soap. So the amount of soap you're going to put on here is really just going to depend on um, how much fluffy bad time paint you're going to make. So start up with maybe two of these cups. So then we're going to take some of the cold water and then we're going to need a whisk. Alright, and then we're just going to add a little bit of water at a time because we don't want it to get too, too fluffy. Okay, so where it is now is going to be a really great fluffy consistency. This is going to be perfect to use for our paints, but um, no matter what you do, this is not going to be whipped cream. Don't eat this. It looks really fluffy and delicious, but this is not edible. <laughs> so we're going to get however many cups we need, depending on how many um, different colors we're doing. So I'm going to do two. So I'm going to grab both of my food coloring choices. And a spoon so I can scoop everything out. Then I'm just gonna scoop out a little bit of the fluffy paint and then we're gonna add a little bit of food coloring. Now a little color is gonna go a long way with the food coloring so just put in a little bit so you're gonna get more of a pastel color than something really strong because again you don't want to make it something that is gonna um, dye the hands or, you know, your uh, white porcelain bathtub, whatever. You just don't want to put too much stuff in here because you want to make sure that it's going to be easy to rinse off later. So you can either choose to give it to them like this in the little plastic cups, give it to them in something plastic so at least that way, um, you know, it's not going to be anything that's going to break. If you have egg cartons at home, you can actually even just put these in like the little egg carton so you'll have um, everything individualized. But if maybe they don't always want to use their hands as well, you can also put them in little plastic baggies. And it'll be kind of like when you're piping um, icing onto a cake. So we would actually just cut out this tip and they could actually just write whatever they want to do onto the, um, the bathtub. And with a few splashes of water, the fluffy bath time paint comes right off the tile. 